Hello and welcome to M-Man Tries. Today we will look at Robocraft. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop that anyway. Yes, today we are looking at Robocraft. Now this is a game that's br pretty new on Steam, and I highly recommend this to anyone who is a fan of games like Minecraft or World of Tanks, because it is exactly what this game is. It's like mixing Lego with World of Tanks and we're, I'll log in and show you guys what I mean and loading yep so basically uh, what you do in this game is you uh, create vehicles now they don't just have to be um, tanks slash cars you can actually get the ability to make hovercrafts and flying cars unfortunately I don't have the parts to make those, you get them at a higher level. But just the option to do those, I think, really adds a lot to gameplay. Anyway, so here we go. Here's what I'm talking about. You have all these various cubes, oh, all of them here. And it's r the interface is really simple. Just place, remove, pretty simple. Adding turrets, wheels, and this is one I've created earlier, uh, the wall. It's to be honest, it's actually not a very good one, but it's just made for fun. Anyway, blow up the garages. We can see the other ones I made. This one I call the brick. Is essentially just a really tough vehicle. This one's uh, the M mobile. This one I'm going to make a hovercraft because the wings here make it don't not a very good car, but will be a good hovercraft. And then there's the ball. So what you do is, uh, huh. just going to there we go. Okay, so we load a robot, and what we're going to do is, I'm going to quickly test this one out, just to give you an idea of the gameplay. All right, so this is practice. This is all just fun. So here we go. As you can see, you drive around using WASD, very simple, and you look around with the mouse and click to shoot. You also get other things your ship can, your vehicles can do, but that's more down the line. For now, it's my vehicles are very simple. Anyway, so these practices, you just go around and you shoot things. Yeah. Shooting, 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 shooting. Shooting, shooting. All day long. Ah! Help! Roadside assistance. I'll get you. And your little dog, too. Okay. So, anyway, um. As I was saying before, this game uh, is very similar to World of Tanks in that you create your vehicle and then you go into an online match. And then you, one team versus the other team, shooting and uh, see who wins and try and get some kills. But while World of Tanks is like a. It's very hardcore strategy, this is a little more fun. But at the same time, it can also be pretty damn strategic in basically how you build your vehicles. Like this, for example, has awesome firepower, has tons of guns, but in moving it's utter crap. So you gotta take all these things into account and I quite like that. Anyway, so we're gonna jump into an online match and I'm gonna uh oop, not with this car though. It's let's go with a brick. This one I've actually had the best success with, mainly due to it's just really heavily armored. Anyway, you see in here all the various aspects you get to some pretty cool creation things. You got radar, something to help my car uh, bounce down. Oop! Accidentally deleted something. Uh, let's see. Block back in space, and you can see my cockpit there. That's where the driver will take his place. Okay, and let's enter this battle. This uh, game also works for a system very similar to um, Worlds of Tanks progression, 
what you'll do is you'll gain credits from each match and these ma these credits can be spent on buying blocks and then you also get tech tree points which unlock new types of blocks so there's always a an urge to keep playing to keep coming back and I really think that's a great way to keep player a good player base going anyway so here we go there's our base uh, if you drive into the enemy's base you can capture it okay Now, um, there's been some really interesting designs for vehicles in this game, and as you will get further down the uh, the tiers, getting into much more harder matches and fighting better opponents, you're going to probably see a much more variety. The higher level you your um, you are, the more uh, stuff you can put on your vehicle. So things are going to get more varied. Oh, now I've got a radar on, so I can see. There's guys coming down there, so I just be careful. Oh yeah, uh, you do not want to rush into a match, like into a, into a firefight, because you will most likely die. Oh, come on, uh, I got it. Whoa! Uh, this car is very easy to tip to tip over. That's why I got this uh, nice little device on it that will pick me up. Oh, taking a hit. Uh, one thing I do like is when you take damage in this your actual ship will take hits. Uh, so that's also similar to World of Tanks, but instead of components, you're actually taking hits to the blocks themselves. So if your gun's taking the hit, that gun's gone. But if just one of the random cubes is gone, takes a hit, it's destroyed. Oh! Ah! Oh, I'm spinning! I'm spinning on the ice! I'm spinning on the ice! Ah! 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 And I died. Yeah. And when you die, you can just exit the match, get back to the garage, try again. So it's quick gameplay. It's pretty good. Anyway, there we go. Repair the ship back up. Okay. Uh, while I'm here, I'll have to look at the tech tree. Okay. Here's the tech tree. Now, one thing I'm not the biggest fan of. I can't purchase a few of these things until I am a higher level. I'm not a big fan of that myself. Now, I'm currently level 4. That means I'm restricted to anything that's got level 4, which means I can go down this path and I can go up this path to getting more colored blocks. Well, that's nice. I really would rather just go down this path. And that and the fact that it's level capped to certain areas I don't like that. I think that's, that really restricts the variety. I mean, how it should be is you pick the path you want to go and you're not predetermined, predetermined more by your level. Like, if I want to go down this hover path and have a hovercraft, that should be my own choice. But, and the balance would be that I wouldn't have maybe these good awesome guns that other people who went down this path would have. Or I wouldn't have as cool blocks or better equipment on my various on my various cars. So, yeah, um, I gotta admit, I kind of don't like the that, and I hope that sort of brought it out. This is oh yes, this game is still early access, so it can um, so it's still being worked on. So keep so it's pretty good anyway. Uh, here we see the cube depot. These are all the various things I've unlocked. Get more things as they come along. You can get some cool cosmetic items, which can be purchased with real money credits. But I don't really want to buy anything so far. So anyway, uh, we're going to go back in the into a battle and try again. This time, why don't we try a different vehicle, eh? We're going to try the wall. <laughs> get ready for a horrible match. All right, let's let's try this baby out. As you can see, you get different tiers. We're currently all tier 1. That means that we don't have the biggest choice of blocks. We don't. So, and we can only have so many blocks on our vehicle. Oh, oh no. Oh, I guess I didn't. It put me through as the brick. Again. Huh. I think that's. This still is having some odd little. 
glitches when picking your vehicle, but uh, they'll probably be patched out. Ooh, we've got a hovercraft. Okay. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I look forward to actually seeing what a lot of my creations are going to be when I, I actually have more uh, points to spend on them. Because, uh, like right now, I like this car, but I'd love to have it even more armored. Just all armor. And, yeah, it, it's a pretty good balancing system because you are limited to how many points you can spend. Oh. Uh, back, 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 back. Ooh. Uh, ow. Uh, oh, good. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna help. Hey. Ha. -ha. Money well spent on that thing. And let's try and get out of here before I get destroyed. Oh, no, no, there go my guns. I am just literally now this thing. Ah! Ah! Mary! Ah! I can't steer, actually. This is just. These wheels can only go forward and backwards. Oh! And I'm dead. <laughs> ah. Shame. But, yeah. <laughs> This game's quite a lot of fun. I, I, I really do ha enjoy this game, and yeah, for a multiplayer game, I think one of the most important things is it has to be fun, and you have to keep wanting to come back. And that this game has that in plus. And uh, let's see about updating. Well, you've got you could add new cosmetic items. They could add new types of blocks. Maybe add new new um. The vehicle types, maybe? Possibly. We should see. And I really look forward to seeing what other amazing creations some people can come up with. Hell, if people can make floating cities with Minecraft, I'm looking forward to seeing what vehicles they can make with this game. Okay, anyway, I'm going to sign this off, people. This is the M-Man for Chisel Toasters. This is was M-Man Tries. And this is Robocraft. Keep playing your games, human. Beep boop boop beep beep boop beep